Greetings YouTube and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts, Del Puckett here. Thank you for tuning in to part one of FAQ for Cigar Box Guitars. All right, the most frequently asked question I get is concerning strings. What's, what strings do I use and what gauge do I use, especially for the EBE tuning? All right, these are the gauges. And this is a, typically an A string from an acoustic set. This is typically a D string from an acoustic set. And this is typically a G string. I like to tune this guy down to E, this guy down to B, and this guy down to E as well. And they are all wound strings. I do not mix wound and unwound, else I have intonation problems. All right, another question I get asked frequently is springs. What size of springs and how many springs for the internal reverb? So I get these springs typically at the big box hardware store. And this is a three inch spring. And it stretches pretty, pretty readily out to about mm, six or seven inches. Okay, and there's not too much tension. And then what I do is I just get the hooks and stretch them to about uh, let's see here, what's that, about seven inches or so. And they give you a nice... And I have found in the past that more springs does not mean more reverb. Um, two is about perfect. Um, one is better than nothing, but any more than two and the effects are not that noticeable. In fact, it's just kind of noisy. So I typically go with two springs mounted just about like that. And that's it. All right, another frequently asked question is concerning piezos and the sizes of these things. I have found, it has been my experience, that size matters with these things here. I go with the largest diameter disc piezo possible. Okay, and I typically am very generous with the hot glue. I'll hot glue it on this side, not this side. This side is for the solder. But I will hot glue it onto this side here, and then I will mount it right about here. Okay, and I've, I've experimented with series, parallel configurations, larges and smalls, but I have had the best luck using only one disc, large disc piezo. All right, good luck. All right, another frequently asked question is concerning the saddle and the zero fret. And that question is, is do I notch these things for the strings? The answer is yes. I do put a little groove for each string on both the saddle and the zero fret. And that is to keep the strings in place, especially if you're a bendy guy you don't want those strings slipping on either the saddle or the zero fret. All right, so that's a wrap. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them in the comment section below. And keep in mind, six strings are three strings too many, hello.